Hello everyone, Mike Hachu here. In the previous video, I didn't explain how to export a Blender rig to Roblox very well. I just kind of showed some images of an FBX property. So uh, that was my bad. I'm going to make this short video to show you guys a clearer way to do it. So firstly, what you want to do is click File, click Export, and then click FBX. You, this setting will show up now. I'm going to call this striker scaling. It might turn red, which is saying that it's going to overwrite something that's already existing, which is fine. I exported this just to test, but uh, it doesn't really matter. Um, what I'm going to do is turn off everything here. You can just hold down left click and it would choose one of these, by the way. Uh, turn off custom property, don't want that, but I'm going to have mesh and armature on. If you're exporting a rig, you want to have mesh and armature on. Then I'll scroll down to animations, turn this off. You're not baking any, and uh, you're not baking any animations, so you don't want that on. In armature, I'll also turn off leaf bone. Leaf bone just adds more lag to the rig. It adds like an extra bone at the end of uh, bones without any attachment to them, I guess is the way you can put it. So like, this mech guy would have his, an, an extra bone as told that won't do anything. It would just add more lag. So, turn that off. And this is going to be the scaling model, meaning I'm going, this one's going to be really big in Roblox. I'm going to scale it down and then save the scale number for the correct import. So let's import this to Roblox and see how it looks. All right, here we are in the same studio, by the way. <laughs> um, to export this rig into Roblox, what you want to do is click Home, click Import 3D, and here's the FPX file that I exported. Uh, click on your FPX file, click Open, and see how this looks. I loaded really quickly. What the hell? I think this is the this is the big one as well, right? Oh yeah, it's a really big one. So there's a lot of options here, but um, I wouldn't mess with any of these. The only one I sometimes turn off is upload to Roblox if I don't want this model to like crowd my inventory. But I don't really mind it right now, so I'll just click import. Big guy. So last time I scaled them to. 0.034 in the last video, so I'll keep the same size here. Something I didn't really explain too well in the previous video, and I don't really have a good explanation now, is why you want to save the scale number and re import it in Blender. The reason is if you want this character to move with a humanoid, um, with this. If you want to use a humanoid on this rig and make it move around with it, um, scaling the model down will really, like, making the scale number really, really small will break the Roblox physics engine on it for some reason. So when it starts moving around, it starts sliding everywhere. I think a more experienced developer can tell me actually what that issue is, but I've uh, worked with devs and known devs who had issues like that and that was how I found to fix it so uh, if you just plan to use this model to animate in like moon animator or just you're not going to put it in uh, or you're not going to use humanoid uh, movement to move it around then uh, yeah you don't got to worry about this honestly I still think it's safe to do it just uh, change Reimport this with the new scale number, so it's at one. But that's just me. If you think that's redundant, then the video ends here for you. Basically, you got your model and your rig, and you're good. But for the people who do want to change the scale to one, here's how you do it: save this. I would recommend you save it in a Google Doc, but I'm lazy right now, so I'll just put it in a script. Just paste it like that. It doesn't even matter. There's an error. It just 
you need a place to save it basically. So I'm gonna go back to Blender and re-import this guy now. And I'll see you guys then. This video was made because uh, a, video, a viewer complained about it by the way. So I do want to thank you guys about that. If I ever, if I ever is like say wrong things or didn't make something very clear just tell me and uh i'll make a video on it to explain it i'll try to avoid this in the future i'm a very amateur youtuber right now but i do want to thank you guys for calling me out so let's re-import this guy now i'll call this the rig because this is the actual rig i'll be using to script and everything only thing I'm going to change the scale, every other settings are the same. Let's do that. And I'll see you guys back in Roblox. Back in the good old studio. Home, import. Oh, there it is. Re Strikers rig. And open this guy. Uh, keep everything the same. Import him in. And boom. Good size, good size. No float. Um, still don't know how to really fix this if you use like animation controller. <laughs> Even though I do plan to use it with an animal controller because I think it's less laggy. I might use like something that, uh, what was it called? Align orientation, which is just an attachment so I can put it like right beneath his feet and not floating like this, but I digress. Um, that's a topic for another day because I'm not really, I don't think I know enough to say anything to you guys about that. Oh no, there's already a red one. Let's make this one the blue version. All the colors for the striker. Oh yeah, same as striker. If you guys want to know like more about these, these silly models, uh, I might make a short animation with some of them. So, uh, put your thoughts on that in the comment. Maybe I'll make it happen or something. I don't know. I just put them over there. This is the one I'll be using to script and animate. Talk about animations. There may be an animation video coming soon. It's, mm, I'm not a very good animator, but just know if you do animate with this, uh, this guy with the new scale here, you want to import the animation with the same scale. And to import an animation, you just uh, export an FBX, but you don't have the mesh, you only have armature on. And that's about it. That being said, that will be the entire video. Thank you for watching, everyone.